In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how you can upload a YouTube video to your YouTube channel from A to Z, from start to finish. So let's get to it. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna head over to my Clipmasters account and I'm gonna grab the video that my video editor finished for me. And as you can see, we had a couple of revisions, but now the video has been approved. And so I'm gonna click on this link and download my video. Then we head back over to my Clipmasters account and now I'm gonna grab the thumbnail that the graphic designer has prepared for me. And as you can see, we usually make two thumbnails and this is because we split the third thumbnails, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna download one of them. There we go. Okay, and now we can head over to YouTube to upload our video. So on YouTube, you wanna look for this button in the top right corner, which is a camera with a plus icon. And once you hover over it, it says create. So once you click on that, you click on upload video and it will take you to your YouTube studio. Now you can either drag and drop your video files or you can click on select files, which is what I am going to do. I'm gonna head over to my downloads and search for the correct video. There we go. And while the video is uploading, YouTube allows you to already fill out the details of your video. So first up is the title. And YouTube automatically uses your video file name as the title, but of course you can adapt it. So I'm gonna remove draft three, and then I am gonna simply add some brackets and then as we move to the description you'll see that we already have some information automatically filled out in there that's because our channel settings are set to automatically have this part of the description uploaded every single time if you want to learn how to do that simply check the video somewhere up here uh, that goes into more detail about that so now it's time to add our description. I already pre-wrote ours, so I'm just gonna copy and paste that in here. And as you can see, we reuse the title and then we have a short description of what the video is about. And we also like to include some keywords again for the video to show up in the search results. We're not gonna go into much detail about that in this video. Again, all of the in-depth videos will be linked up here if you do want to learn how to optimize your videos for the YouTube search results. And then right below your description or your main description, we add the chapters. And this is the timestamps of different segments in your video where you explain what that segment is about. This makes it easier for the viewer to find the information that they want. And also again, can help you rank in the search results, not just on YouTube, but also on Google, which is what has happened for us on multiple videos that we rank for specific chapters at the top of the Google search results. All right, let's move on to the next part. This is where you can upload your own thumbnail. And once your video has done processing, which I think will happen in any minute here, you will also be able to select one of the auto generated thumbnails if you would want to do that. I don't recommend it, um, but if you don't have a specific thumbnail, you can simply select one of these pre-made thumbnails once they're generated. What we're gonna do is click on the upload thumbnail button, and then we're gonna add our thumbnail. There we go. Then next up is playlists. Uh, if you have playlists on your channel, select the correct ones that you want your video to be added to. For us, that will be TikTok tutorials. Below that, you see audience. And this is where they ask whether or not your content is made for children. And this is really the question. Is this a video specifically made for children? It doesn't mean is your content inappropriate for children. It really means is it made for children? If it's not, which I think the majority of us is not making kids content, then you select no, it's not made for kids. Below that, you have paid promotion. Paid promotion needs to be checked if you are promoting someone else's product, if you are being paid to do so. So a product placement, an endorsement, a sponsorship, then you check this box. 
Below that is automatic chapters. We leave that checked on, but this would only apply if you hadn't already added the chapters at the top. The reason that we do add the chapters ourselves is because they are more accurate than the automatic chapters added by YouTube. Featured places, we can leave checked or unchecked for our content, it doesn't really matter. This is where you allow YouTube to tag public restaurants or places that appear in your videos. And then automatic concepts you might not have as it is an experiment, but this is basically where YouTube adds definitions of the terms that you use in your video to your video description. This is very much still uh, in testing uh, phase. So at the moment we uncheck this because we explain all of these concepts in our videos and we actually want viewers to watch the, the whole thing. Then below that is tags. Now tags used to be really important when it came to ranking your videos in the search results. It's not really the case anymore, specifically if you have spoken content. Now, if you have a channel where there is just music and it's a screen recording with text on the screen, these tags can still really help you rank in the search results because this is your way of telling YouTube what your content is about. But if you have spoken content like talking head tutorials like we do on this channel, then YouTube automatically transcribes those videos and based on that transcription, it decides what your video is about and then uses that to rank your videos in the correct search results. So the only reason that I'm still filling this out is for people that might misspell our titles and quite frankly, also just a little bit out of habit because it's what we used to do for our videos and for our clients' videos and we've seen great results with that. So there you go, I've added the tags to our video. Then below that you have language and caption certification. We just leave that as is. Then recording data and location for us, it's not really important. Now, if you have a channel with let's say newsworthy content, then you might wanna add this if it's really specific around a news event that might help you rank higher in the search results as well. License and distribution we leave as is. We allow video and audio remixing. Then the category, we select how to in style. The only thing I sort of wanna say about that is if you make tutorials, if you make what you think is educational content, most likely you still have to select how to in style. The education category on YouTube really is for formal education systems that are uploading things to YouTube, whether that is elementary school, primary school, specific, um, degrees and stuff like that, that is educational content. Everyone else, all the other creators like myself who do how to and tutorial content should select how to and style. I found that really confusing at the start, but that's just like a little tip that I can give you. Then comments and ratings, we leave on, we leave everything else as is. And then we click Next, I'm gonna quickly skip monetization because I am assuming if you are watching a video on how to upload a video on YouTube, your channel will not be monetized yet. Hopefully soon, but not yet. So we're just gonna skip this part for now. So now we've landed on video elements and these are things that you can add on top of the video that you've uploaded. So you can add subtitles if you do have a subtitle file, you can add an end screen or you can add cards. We do not add subtitles, our audience understands English, the videos are in English and they have automated captions added by YouTube. We do add an end screen and cart. So the end screen are elements that you can add to the last 20 seconds of your video, for example, a subscribe button or other videos that you want your viewers to watch. And how you add that is simply by clicking add, and then this will open up your video. And as you can see, this marker is already set to the last 20 seconds of our video. Now, if you want an in-depth explanation of how to add end cards, we have another video on that and it's also linked somewhere up here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll to the end of my video where the phone is no longer in view. There we go. And then I am simply going to add an element which is going to be a subscribe button i will drag it below here and then i will change the length so it only starts showing up at the moment that i want it to show up and then i'm gonna add a video 
and I'm gonna make it best for viewer like this. And again, I'm gonna adapt the length because I only want it to show up on those last 10 seconds. And then I am going to click on save. And then for the cards, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click add. And the cards is, for example, anytime that you reference a video or a playlist and you go and you tell your audience, oh, I'm gonna link it somewhere up here, the little I at the top, that's a card. So what we're gonna do for this one is probably just a more generic card after the intro. Again, you can move that cursor and then your card will be added at that exact point. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply select our TikTok tutorials playlist and then I don't want it to say TikTok tutorials at the top here, but I'm just gonna call it complete TikTok tutorial and click on save. Now that we've added all that, we can click on next. This is where we get our checks. So it checks whether or not you have copyright. This can happen if you use copyrighted music. And then if you also have monetization, it will also check whether or not you're using profane language, anything like that. But we're all good to go. So we're simply gonna click on next. And now YouTube asks you whether you want to publish your video or keep it on unlisted or private. So private means that it's only visible to you Unlisted means that anyone with the link can view your video. Public means anyone can see your video. I do wanna mention that if you put your video on unlisted but you add it to a playlist, everyone will be able to see it if they click on that playlist, all right? Because you've basically given them their direct link. And then down below as well, there is a schedule feature, which is what we mostly use because we upload multiple videos at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to count. We're scheduling once a day tomorrow. This is probably going live on the 17th of January. And then I'm gonna change the upload time. And the upload time is set to the time zone that your channel is set in. So if you have, marked your channel as a US channel, then the time zone will be US time zone. If you've marked it, like for us, we set it to Belgium because I'm I'm uploading from Belgium, then it is set to that time zone as well. I'm gonna select 9 p.m. Maybe a little bit too late, let's do 8 p.m. There we go. And then if you want to, you can set it as a premiere, which means that the thumbnail will be visible on your channel and it will tell your subscribers when that video will go live. Now, if you're uploading multiple times per week, like we do, I wouldn't recommend it because then the top row of your channel videos will just be announcements of premieres. And quite frankly, if you upload a video every other day, no one really cares about another video premiering, right? So we're not gonna check that, but I am going to check schedule. There we go. And now you see that our video has been scheduled and it will be set to public on January 17th, 2024. It's that easy.